Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about the new pet system, the avians. So, I'm going to give you a quick guide on what to do and what not to do, how all this works and all that. So, first, you will come into this menu here, you will have no, of course, no pals or pets, whatever you call it. So, you will go to hatch, you will have three eggs, most likely, and you can hatch them by clicking on them and then holding a button uh, right here. Uh, for like five seconds or something like that it will give you a countdown up here where it will then will say uh, that you got some sort of a pal here then you can go to your pal you can see that all sheeps have the same avian active skill of course then everything uh, every different pal can have every single different thing uh, in their passive affects like this one it, this has combo and hands go this one has invalid strike, dual blade strike, and shroom combo. So this might be better. But then you will have to see what works for your account. Of course, you can level them up. It's pretty easy to level them once you've leveled them. Uh, with these, the Uku fruit, it will level them up 1 XP. Then you have to use your Mimir spring in order to advance them to gain better bonuses like you can see this is a level one uh, swim combo it's 150 combo damage this is a level 22 with a 210 because i've uh, upgraded two times i'm pretty sure it's one every 10 level uh so yeah with the sponsor of today's video being Paxify, I was able to get the drop ticket pack. Instead of paying this, I was able to save up to 35% with Paxify. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Paxify is right now a Discord community with over 10,000 members and have saved over $4.1 million in the last three years. That is amazing. And you know what? They're launching an app that will make us getting discounts effortless and so easy the app will be launched in june so right now we need to go on a waiting list and help them out so what can we actually expect from this we can expect early bird bonuses meaning that the earlier you are the more bonuses you could be getting free credits vip treatment exclusive access big birthday contests and key player perks like what you're hearing then join me on the waiting list for paxify's app because it's going to be amazing and very easy to save some money just like i told you guys i would help you with you can also breed them so you have five a week and many i think made already this dumb decision just like me so it's i i'm just as dumb because i didn't know what to do but you get five of the week of these and we get one on, uh, on monday and i just started breeding i just breeded the worst with the worst like i breed i bred these two no do not do that you can look at other servers, like, and look at other um, accounts. Like, I can go here, breed. I can check my, you can, like, ask them to be a partner. And I can just see, okay, wait, he has this one. What does this do? Oh, this is basic attack AoE damage. Okay, you know what? I'll breed this. So then you can take that, take it with your own. And then you can almost guaranteedly get, get this. And that's amazing. Then you get more different powers. And these will just get better because this has three uh, passive skills but also this is a advanced one and this is just a normal one as you can see from the typing this is an advanced one this is a normal one you can see it up here in the top if you want to look at them all you can click this book up in the right corner then you can see all of them uh, everything that they do and you can see that some of them are rare some of them are normal some of them are advanced and of course there are some that are better for most uh, accounts. Like this one. This one is not that good. But something like this one is for warriors. Increase counter damage by 4% every 10 seconds. This could be very good for maybe some boss battles. Right? Then there's the... Let's see here. There's this one. Every skill crit deals an extra 600% AoE damage. Or skill damage. That's actually okay as well. We have this one. Every crit has a 20% chance to deal 6% basic attack damage bleed. This is maybe good for Archer. So there's a lot of different ones that you can actually get. And you kind of have to figure out what's good for your account. And figure out the passive skills and all that. Because pal damage got passive skill, not that good. So here we can see uh, those that I don't even know. Pairing, like I, I can pair these. Um, you can see that, oh, this has... 
pal this is boss damage right and then you can go to the next ones you can see there if they have something and then you can i have no idea really what you can do here and we'll probably figure that out later but it's probably some pairing um mechanic there is as well like you can see this is available so it might be what we have like i have put this available for others to breed with and they can breed with uh, i can breed with this of theirs and yeah it is actually so we just found out another thing and i need to tell peter pan to do something but i can choose this one pick one of my own and then i know okay he has that one with enhanced go which is not that good but it will actually give me this one most likely uh, the bell ring so that's actually pretty nice okay that's all good and all that but how do you get these oku fruits and mimir spring well there is a couple of places so you can go in here uh, in your glory shop and you can actually buy the uku fruit and the sweetheart cake in order to gain f uh, more breeds so that could actually be a good deal we can actually buy one right now and then we can tr test it out in a little bit but you can buy uku fruits uh, purchase limit i think it's like a daily limit yeah it's a daily limit right here of course i would still go for your red soul selections and awakening first there's also a flame egg that has a better chance of becoming something good you can also buy it in your family shop. You can buy the Uku fruit right there. And there is a Mimir spring as well. So that's actually pretty nice as well. Then, of course, there is the dungeon. And this dungeon is hard, but not hard. <laughs> and you can like gain all of these like things here. And this is probably just because I have a really good account that I can gain all of these rewards. But you will go for the eggs. Like eggs, cakes, mimir spring, and then these like ukus fruit are probably the best things to go for because we have no idea the extent of the power that these pets can come with. So getting that legend, you know, a rare, like the best rare pet could be amazing and give you so much more power. Of course, you have a recruitment system here. You will have three choices down here at the start. But you can also go to comrade recruitment and then you can just private send someone an invite. And then if they say yes, you get them here and uh, you can actually just pick that one. They can cancel it. Then you can just select another one, of course. You can see what they're using. You can see their artifacts. You can see all their uh, most of their stats. So yeah, pretty good. Then you can have your dungeon assist. I'm not too sure what this dungeon assist means. You can see all the ones that you're assisting here. That's the ones I'm use assisting with my build. Uh, then you can choose your build, what you're helping them with. And then you have the dungeon. You come in here and you have to go to challenge. First, it will look like this. And there will be tactical settings. Well, you'll have shield recharge, speed attack defense, and attack defense boost. Braver over time, tank tactic, life saver, balance. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot, right? And what I found because I've only tried a couple of these, but shield recharge is amazing. You just put the highest power, the best one that you can have, on a second, and the other one on fourth. And then when you start the battle, it will be you and your friend against the others. And then you'll have some shield, and you'll just do pretty well you can see here we actually beat that insanely easy and then you'll move on to the next one when you've done that you can get some rewards and you can actually pick your own rewards i'll see if we can actually get to that i'm not so sure this is very tough right now a very tough level so i'm not too sure if we're going to be able to do it but we will try they do not take a lot of damage wow uh oh it does not look good okay so where we okay so we we'll probably won't make it to the boss but essentially you will have the option to choose here like selectable item items you can just select whichever one you want and you can see there's a lot of good uh, rewards here but in my opinion the only good ones are the pets and all that uh all the other good stuff so yeah go for that in my opinion and definitely will help you out and then of course you can always just level this up you can see i've leveled this one up and it's not that good of course i'll probably have to go with this one because counter damage re uh, counter damage resistance is good but combo as well so you can always just have this one that you upgraded and you can just uh, reset it 
and then you'll lose a little bit of your leveling materials, as on the Uku fruit, but you'll get 100% of the Mimir's spring back. So yeah, look at uh, the book here. What do you need for your account? Oh, this looks cute. And then you can see, okay, this does this, this does this, and then you can think, okay, hmm, maybe I should choose this one. Maybe I should choose this one. Could this one be good for me? Maybe this one could be good. So yeah, you need to check which one is good for you. And then, of course, breed your way up to it because I'm pretty sure the higher, like, the higher level they are, like, if this is advanced and this is advanced, there is a higher chance of you getting something better than that. And of course, hatch your eggs. Be, yeah, just be careful before you do something like breeding. Because you can see, I did it and I only have blues now where I've seen a lot of people already having like rares and advanced, like a, much better than mine, which unfortunate because I didn't know what to do. But now I kind of do. And yeah, it's actually kind of fun. I kind of like this update. I'm definitely enjoying it at the moment. And I'm uh, it's excited to see what it brings. Hopefully this little guide helped you. If it did, please leave a like, leave a subscribe, or just leave a comment saying, okay, this helped me. Thank you for watching. Hope you have an amazing day when you're watching this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.